everybody, it's Professor Williams, and we're going to talk about how to solve for the probability that x is between two values with normal distribution. So we still have a few basic steps, except in this case, we've got to convert both values of x to z-scores. Then we have to look up both of those z-scores in the table. And if we're solving for the area in between, we're going to have to subtract those two areas from one another in order to isolate what you're looking for in order to answer your question. At six months old, an English Bulldog puppy weighs on average 30 pounds with a standard deviation of four pounds. If the weights of the puppies are approximately normally distributed, what's the probability that a puppy is going to weigh between 24 and 35 pounds? So this is what our question looks like. We have our mean and our standard deviation that was given to us in the problem. And then we have two values of x. We have the 24 pounds here below the mean. And then we have 35 pounds that's up here above the mean. And the area that we're looking for is this area in between the two. So our first step was to convert both of these to z-scores. So my first z is going to be my 24 minus the 30 divided by the standard deviation of 4 pounds is going to give me a negative z-score of 1.50. And then up here on the top, my other z is going to be my 35 minus the mean of 30 divided by that standard deviation of 4 is going to give me a positive z-score of 1.25. And these are the two values that we're going to look up in our cumulative normal distribution table. So here we have our normal distribution tables. I'm going to look up my z of 1.25 first. So I have 1.25. I'm going to come all the way over to where it intersects with the 0.05. And then down here, I have a negative 1.5. And that's 1.50. So I've got my area associated with 1.25 ended up being 0.8944 from the table. And my negative of 1.50 gave me that area of 0 0.0668. But remember, in a cumulative distribution table, it gives you the area below your z-score. And so what we know is we've got some overlap. So if we looked at this question just in terms of z-scores, right? here I'd have that z equal to 1.25. Here I had my z that was my negative 1.50. And I had those two areas. But I know those two areas overlap. Because when I found the area associated with my z of 1.25, it ran from here all the way down. My z-score of negative 1.50 gave me this area. So can you see where we have an overlap issue? So what we're going to do to correct that is we're simply going to take the two areas and we're going to subtract this area that's counted twice. So the area associated with that to the left of that z-score of 1.25 was 0.8944. And this little area right here that we want to get rid of was 0 0.0668. So I'm going to take it away. And I'm going to end up with 0.8276. And that's going to be this area in between my two points, eliminating this area that was double counted, making the probability that this puppy weighs between 24 and 30 pounds, 82.76%. So it will help you if you can visualize or sketch yourself a curve. And then you'll see immediately the area that was counted twice that you're going to have to subtract out in order to isolate just this area between these two points on the curve. As always, I hope that you found this useful. And thanks so much for watching.